Well, as for our transmission problem, we're still stuck here in the National Forest just east of Laramie, Wyoming. But we thought about it, thought about it, slept on it, thought about it some more, and kind of came up with uh, a solution. A plan. <laughs> a plan. A plan of attack. Part of coming to this plan of attack was reading all your comments and suggestions. You suggested brands of, uh, of rebuilt transmissions that we should get, like a Jasper, and I was gonna go for that. I like their, their warranty. I don't have to go to any one place to, to fulfill the warranty like I would if I went with Amco Transmission, which there isn't even one in Montana. <laughs> so that would be out of the question. So I was thinking of a Jasper tranny, but then I, I got to thinking about it and, and some of you suggested this too. They said, if, if the tranny, if the oil is clean and it's been shifting right and, and there aren't any other underlying uh, problems, then maybe just changing out those two shift solenoids in the transmission would cure it. And you know what? I just posted this video yesterday morning. Watch this. While Linda's inside putting things away and securing things, our normal routine on a travel day, I'm just gonna make a few checks here on the car. I've shown this in other videos, but just real briefly here, every day before we travel, I start over here on this side, I check the brake fluid, I check the condition of the serpentine belt by shining a flashlight down where I can see the ribs of the belt and make sure they're not uh, cracked or coming apart. Come over to this side. I check the uh, reservoir level of the uh, coolant tank here. I check the level of that, make sure that's where it's supposed to be. On my car, I have two dipsticks right next to each other. This one's the oil. Make sure that level is all right. Now this one is the transmission dipstick. And what I'm doing right now is smelling it. Transmission fluid, when it goes bad, smells burnt. And it smells just like oil. So it smells fine, it's okay. Now, the, for, for transmission level, you have to do it with the engine idling. Today, I know the level's okay. Now, that video was taken just an hour and a half before my transmission failed. So, I, I knew that the oil was clean, it smelled right, and also the car's been shifting fine right up until the second that it just, I, I was just pulling away from a stop sign. I always drive so easy. But it just, when it went from first into second, it kind of revved up a little bit in between. And I thought, uh oh, something just happened. And right after that, I noticed that we were, we had only, we only had second and third. <laughs> so it happened right there. So what I'm going to do is replace those shift solenoids. And I could take it down to a shop and I think that would cost me several hundred dollars. We're going to do this the gone again way. Before I go any further, I want to say thank you to Dan and Teresa Fields. Now, we were driving around here yesterday looking for a place to camp. We were up on top of the mountain behind us, but uh, Dan came out. I didn't know him, but he flagged us down as we were going by, and he says, gone again, and he recognized us. So we chatted for a little bit, and then I let him know uh, that we were having tranny problems, and we just needed to stop somewhere and 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 see about getting it fixed and make some plans. Well, he drove down here, we, we did find this campsite, and he drove down off the mountain, came in and looked for us, and he found us last night. And he and Teresa said that they would, they would even if we had to uh, drop the car off in Cheyenne, which is 45 miles from here, or Laramie or wherever, they would gladly um, follow us and, and t bring us back here and take us back to pick up our car up when it, when it was finished. Thank you, Dan and Teresa. Thank you very much. So here's the plan. I called Napa Auto Parts. They said they would have both solenoids in, plus the gasket kit and the uh, new filter by, by three o'clock this afternoon. 
So we're going to limp on in there. The car still does move and, it, you know, it runs fine. And it uh, second and third gear, but we can still get there. We're going to go in and pick those parts up. We're going to re we're going to get the car raised up and we're going to replace them right here where we're camped. I went ahead and wrote down and made a list of parts. I need solenoids, gasket, filter, automatic transmission fluid, a drain pan, a funnel, paper towels. Uh, I need some more mechanics gloves and that ought to get it for us. And of course, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on how to get this done. Well, be sure and check back and see how this all turned out. And I'll let you know at that time whether the fix worked or not. See you around. Thank <laughs> you.